So hello you guys, welcome back to another one of my videos if you're a card subscriber. If not, then welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a updated makeup collection. I've literally just finished filming a video on how I basically organise all of my clothes and stuff. So I showed you guys my drawers and also inside of my wardrobe. So if you guys want to check out that video, I have it linked in the description. So today I'm going to be showing you my updated makeup collection. So if you haven't seen my last one, then I'll have it linked below. Makeup collection has changed so much. It's like got a little bit smaller and I've like the way I organize it is so different. Um, before I had all my makeup in acrylic drawers, then I redecorated my room and I didn't really want any of my makeup on display. And I wanted to keep my makeup collection sort of minimal and be able to have everything in one place. But yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. So just keep on watching. So on top of my Alex Line drawers, I keep my makeup brushes. And we wash my brushes like at least once a month. Um, I will do it more if I can. So in this pot, I just have makeup sponges. I have my makeup mirror back there and then I have some cotton buds in this really nice little acrylic thing. Um, I don't keep my makeup in my Alex 9 drawers but if you guys would like to see a Alex 9 drawer tour then let me know in the comments. So I still keep my makeup in the same area of my bedroom um, but I now keep everything in the Mickey desk. So this is what it looks like when you open the drawer. So I'm going to try my best to actually show you guys everything because it's all sort of squashed into one place so starting off on the left hand side i have some eye makeup so i have my um eyelash curlers which are from primark but i very rarely use these um i have um some mascaras i used to have loads of mascaras but i've chucked most of them out my current favorite is the maybelline lash sensational one does a lot different to any other mascara i've tried and it makes it quite easy to reach the small lashes in the corner as well as your bottom lashes. So another one of my favourites. This one is great but um, if you apply it too much your lashes can become quite clumpy and I also have another two mascaras down there and I also have a Urban Decay one. So moving on to this section I just have two eyeliners. Um, I really need to get some more eyeliners because most of mine have all dried up so I've had to chuck them out. I also have this uh, gel liner. This is one by Maybelline. I have a eyelash primer, eyelash primer? An eye primer. This is from Makeup Revolution and then I just have some eyebrow products. I honestly don't do much to my brows. I just kind of fill them in with a pencil and brush them. So behind all that I have some of my eyeshadow palette. So I have the Lorac Unzipped which I use today. I love this eyeshadow palette. This is actually a concealer palette and I honestly don't really wear eyeshadows much but I just have this um, Makeup Revolution one. I have another one which I've never used and then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills one which is so pretty. I love the colours in here. They're just so nice. So next, moving on to this section. It's literally just full of baby lips. I have so many different baby lips. I basically just collect them. I think there's like three rows of baby lips. It's just ridiculous. Um, I do use them from time to time. Well, I do use them quite a lot, actually. I'm not going to go through them all because I have quite a lot. But if you guys would like to see a baby lips collection, then let me know. So next, moving on to... Um, more lip products. I absolutely love lip products. They're like my favourite part of my makeup collection. But over here I just have my one and only lip liner. It's just this purple one by Chanel. And um, I have two of these lipstick crayons. These are from Primark. I love them. So in this section I just have some chubby sticks. I've got this Body Shop one. This next section is liquid lipstick. So I have this MAC one which I got from my good YouTube friend Lily and I'm actually wearing this one at the moment. So I have two of the minis from the birthday collection and then I have this purple one which is so pretty. And then over in this section I just have um, sort of like lip balm type one. This is definitely one of my favourite lip product. My favourite lip gloss is this Tanya Burr one. It's from um, the Christmas collection last year. It's in the shade Candy Cane and I also have another one in the shade Pavlova. At the very back I have lipsticks. So most of the lipsticks I have are by Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution is one of my favourite brands but I have a couple of these bullet shaped ones. I have a couple of MAC 
lipsticks mixed in there. There's quite a few, but yeah, these are just some of the MAC lipsticks. And then in the corner, I have some Chanel lipsticks. This one is actually my favourite colour, but it's a little bit broken. I don't know how it broke, but it's broken and I'm so sad. And next, moving on to this section, I have some plain lip balm. So I have four EOS lip balms. I have the pink one, but that's on my bedside table. And I have three of these W7 um, lip balms, which are kind of a little bit like EOS. And moving on over here, I have two Nivea lip butters. I really don't like these and I don't know why I still have them, but yeah, I just don't really like them too much. Just the formula, they smell good. Just don't like the formula. I have a new Nivea lip balm. I love like the Nivea stick ones. They're great. I have quite a few of them, but they're in the bathroom. So onto the section at the back, um, I have some powders. So I have um, highlighters over here. I really don't like wear highlighters, but I have this Makeup Revolution one. I honestly bought it because the packaging is cute. And just like, look, it is a heart. So pretty. And then I have the Mary Luminizer. I have two blushes. So this one is from Makeup Revolution in the shade Sugar. And this one is from Primark. I got it um, almost a year ago and I've been using it constantly. As you can see, I've hit pack. And I've got my pressed powders. So I have this Rimmel Stay Matte. My one's cracked. I swear everyone that has this, they end up cracking the lid. I had to salutate mine yesterday because I was just getting annoyed with it falling apart. This is what it looks like. I've hit pan and it looks pretty dirty because my powder brush, sometimes I use it in this powder, but I need to get another one of these. This was my first ever pressed powder and I still really love it. So then I have two of these Primark ones. This one is a new one, um, but this is the one I have been using for a good couple of months now. It was only two pounds. You can see I've hit pan. I have two banana powders. I have this uh, Makeup Revolution one, which my friend Lily gave me. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've actually tried it out. If I have, I've used it like once so far. Um, and then I have the Ben Nye banana powder. So on to the last section um, which is primers and foundations. So for primers I have this little benefit one. Um, this is also from my friend Lily. I got this last year for Christmas and I really really like this one. I don't love it enough to want to like get the full size um, but it's, it is a great primer. I have this Miss Beauty primer which is on the pound shop. I have this amazing primer, the best primer ever. Um, this is a Primark Stay All Day one. They seem to have discontinued it um, which is really sad because this is literally the best primer I've ever tried in my life. I have this Primark Instagirl perfecting stick and this is a priming stick I believe. Um, it's a very like weird thing but I'm just trying to use it up there's only a little bit left but it doesn't really work but i just use it anyway and i have this elf primer the packaging is a 10 out of 10 but the product is not the best if you have oily skin it really doesn't work if you have oily skin and it's kind of pricey and you literally just get like this tiny amount like i thought you would get a lot but there's literally barely anything in there and this plastic thing makes it look like you get a lot of product but you actually don't. So I also have this prime in water which is pretty much finished. I also had the finishing spray but that is finished. So next I'm going to go on to the concealers. I don't really use concealers. I have the LA Gal Pro Concealer. Literally everyone has this. I think this is in the shade Toffee. Don't really like it too much. I have this colour corrector from Primark. Don't really like that either. Um, and then I have these two amazing concealers from Primark. Like, just look at the packaging. These are two pounds each. I got two different colours because I didn't really know, like, which one because I don't really use concealer. But this one I have been using. It is amazing. I'll definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. It's so good. Next on to foundations. I have this Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I haven't used this in a little while actually. I did buy it last year, put it on, I hated it, and then a couple of months ago, I started using it, but I can only wear it if I use um, like this pressed powder after, because the color is too light. I have the Makeup Revolution, the one foundation. This was my like go-to foundation. I don't even know if they still sell this anymore. I have a Primark foundation, which I don't like. Um, I really, 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 
don't like this. Um, a formula, just the way it looks, it makes your face look proper cakey. Definitely not my favourite foundation. I have the Makeup Revolution Ultra Base Face um, Foundation. This is like a BB cream. This is in the shade 15. I can also wear shade 14. This is a, another really good product I recommend. And then I have this one, which I have been using quite a lot. Um, I got it about two months ago now. This is the Maybelline Dream... Uh, satin liquid i got this in the shade 62 um i got the perfect shade this foundation is beautiful um i love the fact that it comes in a pump as well it is a little bit pricey but i definitely recommend it. it has a great shade range and then i have this makeup revolution what do you want to call it what is this tray and it came with like the foil eyeshadow but i like to use it with this foundation because you can't squeeze it straight onto a sponge or a brush. So before I forget, my organiser is actually from Ikea. You can find it in the cutlery section. Um, it is great. Obviously you can see I've used it to separate all my makeup. It's only like one pound something and I just love it. Um, I'm really, really happy with my collection at the moment. I'm happy I can fit everything into one drawer instead of having drawers and drawers and drawers of makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my makeup collection. I had so much fun filming it. Um, I'll probably do an updated one next year. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, then please subscribe. Um, if you have any video suggestions, then just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I have Instagram and everything will be listed in the description. So bye for now guys and I'll see you in my next video.